TIFU by microwaving fish in my office for a year. TIFU All right so a few things. 1. I have sense of smell. My sinuses are literally always blocked and it affects my sense of smell. But it doesn't affect me across the board. Some things I can smell just fine. Some things I can sometimes smell. Some things I've never really been able to smell. 2. I love fish. It's easy to cook meal prep. Tasty. And good for you. I used to eat a tuna sandwich for breakfast every morning. 3. Up until a year ago, I had never worked an office job. Only outside manual labor fast food jobs. So on to the fuck up. Which should actually be over the past year I fucked up. About one three times a week I brought in a meal with fish. Salmon. Tilapia. Tuna. And naturally I thought. I warmed it up in the community microwave. Well I was scrolling through a co-workers from hell thread and saw a long rant about how someone had a co-worker that brought in fish and warmed it up in the communal microwave and stunk up the whole office. And a bunch of people all piled on talking about how awful that was. I thought what? Fish can kind of have a smell. But definitely not as much as some other foods people warm up. They must be exaggerating. Then I had my own little light bulb moment and I remembered realized a few things. The aforementioned weird sense of smell. My sister retching every time I ate a tuna sandwich for lunch. The fact that I've always heard rotten fish has an unmistakably strong smell but I have to basically stick my nose directly into a rotten fish to be able to smell it. All the other times I've heard people remark on fish's smell in passing. I'm. I'm so sorry. I'm so stupid. TLDR my weird sense of smell led to a year of suffering for my co-workers. Edit I promise I know tuna has mercury in it now. I haven't eaten more than one serving a week since someone told me that when I was a teenager. Also yes I am going to see a doctor about the sinus thing. No it's probably not nasal polyps. I've had some x-rays done by an oral surgeon that confirmed no growths that can be easily seen. At my old job, we had two kitchens, one in a decent sized break room, and the other which was a glorified closet in the way back corner of the office next to the server room and IT storage. We had a shower in our server room, which was another story. The tiny kitchen was designated the fish kitchen, and anyone who wished to reheat fish was politely asked to use the fish kitchen. Not sure if you can get the sinus thing looked at. It's probably affecting your sense of smell more than you think. Your sense of taste is mostly your sense of smell as well. In fact, most people who don't eat fish because of the taste i.e. how it smells when it is in their mouth. Bring a cake in the shape of a fish with sorry written on it. I am really surprised that you went a year without being told about it. When I was working I was an executive assistant and sometimes my role was being department mama. People would come to me with problems or complaints. I ended being very familiar with the policies for our workplace. The number one complaint I got was people microwaving fish and other stinky foods. There was a written policy that it was not okay. Basically it's pretty rude because people are stuck in the office and can't get away from the smell. I live with someone whose subway order JS a tuna. Onion and jalapeno sandwich that they insist on microwaving. It makes our house smell like ass. A year, put your co-workers in your will. They've earned it. Straight to jail. Next time, instead of microwaving the fish directly, 
You can buy little cooking bags and put the fish in that. Heat some water in a bowl of some type in the microwave will work until it's hot. Then put the sealed bag in that for 3-5 minutes depending on the thickness of the fish. It warms it more evenly. And keeps it moist. Op I'm not writing this to make you feel bad. But if you have a restricted sense of smell taste. You probably don't realize how pungent your breath is after eating strong smelling foods. You were probably walking around talking to people at work with fish breath. Hope that helps. Your structurally ambiguous title makes me think you accidentally hit 365 days on the microwave. That's pretty gnarly. But now you know. A lot of people think fish stinks. Especially microwaved. It can be strong. But it's also super distinctively fishy. There's a reason why it doesn't taste like fish is a compliment when it comes to seafood. If you worked in my office you would have been found and confronted a long time ago. Yep. Fish in the office microwave is a standard no-no. It's one of the most common tropes for office workers. Thou shall not microwave fish in a community lunchroom. I would tell you to repent for you sins. But I'm not sure any religion anywhere can help you now. Dude at my work wanted to warm up his thermos of hot chocolate and had that microwave sparking like the flux capacitor. Had a woman who worked in an open cubicle office who smoked like a chimney and the smell of cigarette smoke followed her a trail through the office. She regularly cooked fish or broccoli in the office microwave. We all gagged when we had to be in close proximity to her. There's a guy in the store I work at who always heats up his fish upstairs and makes the whole store smell awful. Boss came in one day smelled it and declared no fish allowed anymore. Our break room is next to the bathroom's fish smell is the least of our worries. I worked at a place where several workers would heat up dehydrated fish. Oh God. We would purposely burn popcorn in it in order to be able to use it was a less obnoxious smell. I don't think you should be eating that much tuna fish. You're the nate of your office lol. Man. I can't smell at all. Nada. Zero. Zilch sense of smell. And even I know not to microwave fish at work. Edit I promise I know tuna has mercury in it now. I haven't eaten more than one serving a week since someone told me that when I was a teenager. If you're eating canned like tuna skipjack tuna you are not getting much mercury. Not even reading the post you're a monster. It's okay dude. I've never been bothered by a fishy smell in the break room. Sounds like you won't do it moving forward so I wouldn't worry about it too much. A year? That's way too long to microwave anything. In our office people regularly microwave fish. Never been an issue. Maybe a cultural thing. Apparently very unpopular opinion but I kinda like the smell of fish. For extra sensation. Microwave a smoked mockerel. Oh yeah. Fish absolutely stinks. Some are better than others. My housemate got fish last week. I was retching every time I opened up the fridge. I think it was going off because it had the yellow sail sticker on it and it was getting worse. Until he cooked it. The entire house stunk. Even got into my bedroom. I was retching so badly every time I left my room. OMG it was awful. I'm vegetarian. This was the first time in 8-9 years since I stopped eating meant that I've nearly complained. About the smell of meat in the house. It was so. So bad. Yes. You did. Fish is so nasty. Especially when microwaved. 